can't handle the truth. Hello everybody, my name is Ifan Yuban. This is 360 Degree Mastery. This is the channel where we teach you personal effectiveness, self-mastery, and how to create, grow, and manage your wealth. Now, before I continue, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you have access to all my online content. Hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out. I put out new videos every week, and my videos are full of tips to make you a better person, to make you a happier person, to make you a more successful you in your life, in your business, in your finances, and in your relationships. Also, if you don't have anywhere to go, please stay home and practice social distancing if you must go out in public wear a face mask wash your hands regularly use hand sanitizers the covid 19 pandemic is still with us a lot of people have been infected and they're infecting others please and please let us try and stay safe and we will beat this thing together now last year i did a video um titled before you take that loan and in that video i gave you guidelines um things you should watch out for when you are borrowing money the prospect of borrowing money is a very welcome one to so many of us even when we don't have a need for money we just want to borrow the money because it is there we never think about the interest rates we never think about the penalties uh we never think about the inconvenience of paying money back um we just go ahead and we borrow that money now today i want to do something for a lot of people out there somebody sent me a message and asked me for some advice i'm not going to say the name of the person but let me just go ahead and uh, respond uh, to that person's message let me tell you five things that you should never borrow money for all right five things you should never borrow money for and i mean it now the first of those things is don't borrow money to go on vacation never borrow money to go on vacation right now the second thing you should never borrow money for is to buy an expensive present for somebody oh that's the love of your life you have been going out for some time you love him or you love her and uh, your anniversary is coming up or his birthday or her birthday is coming up and you want to buy them a present that will show how much you love them so you go and borrow money to buy an expensive present now this is not smart it is not wise why would you do that so never buy more never uh, borrow money to buy an expensive gift for a loved one that's the second thing you should never ever borrow money for now the third thing you should never borrow money for i know a lot of people are not going to like this but i'm going to say it anyway don't borrow money to get married don't borrow money to get married that your your wedding is the most expensive wedding does not mean that your marriage is going to be the happiest marriage or it's going to be the most fruitful union don't borrow money to get married that's the third thing now the fourth thing you should never borrow money for is buying luxuries all right you see your friends around you they are buying luxuries they are buying expensive cars and you feel to keep up you have to buy an expensive car but let me tell you something the moment you buy an expensive car get into that car start that engine and drive it out of the dealers the value of that car has gone down by 50 percent that is just the truth so do not borrow money to buy luxuries expensive cars expensive gadgets expensive toys because these luxuries you're gonna to have to pay that money back and if these luxuries don't perform um you know uh, up to your expectations then they're gonna be filled with a lot of regret don't borrow money to buy luxuries save your money work hard when you can afford to buy luxuries then you go ahead and you buy luxuries that's the way it works that's the fourth thing you should never borrow money for now the fifth thing that you should never borrow money for is to repay an existing loan don't borrow money to pay back money that you have borrowed before that is not smart because when you are borrowing money to pay back money that you have borrowed before you are borrowing the new money at an interest that is probably higher than the old than the you know that the interest on the old money so don't borrow money to pay back money no matter how um insistent your creditor is try and structure a repayment plan a repayment agreement that will suit you and will suit him or her don't borrow money to pay money back it is not um sound um um, um, um uh, financial principles it is not sound economics i would not advise you to do that how do you see this video if this video was helpful at all please go ahead and click like share this video with somebody who needs it i'm sure there are a number of people out there who need to watch this video uh, because um a lot of people do not understand the basics of uh, what i call financial for finance 101 so please and please do not borrow money for any of these five things don't borrow money um you know to go on vacation don't borrow money to buy expensive presents for a loved one don't borrow money to get married don't borrow money to buy luxuries and don't borrow money to pay back money that you have already borrowed okay check out my website um saskeventures.com the address is there at the bottom of the screen we have all different new books available for you just click on the titles you want add to cart proceed to check out supply your details 
make payment and boom we deliver to you just like that okay um you can go ahead and check out my books 360 degree mastery which is a book on improving your personal effectiveness check out my other book get up get busy get that a which is a book on um achieving and maintaining academic excellence and also check out my new book um all the way up that book is a wonderful book a lot of people have placed orders for that book please go ahead and place your order as well follow me on social media look for the hashtag niger nature that's me if i knew but i tell people i'm not a motivational speaker even though i've been invited you know to um, several gatherings several functions people have tried to engage me and they try to list me as a motivational speaker i'm not a motivational speaker i'm a consultant i don't wear nice suits i don't use big words i don't confuse you i'm a consultant i help you solve your problem we solve the problem together with fashion solutions and i help you implement them and you get solutions and you get satisfaction that's what i do for a living okay i wish you a prosperous week ahead continue to stay safe and please and please watch how you borrow namaste